thing comes out with these criminal investigations. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Gloria Gomez. Now back right. to you. Just gets more complicated all the time. Thank you, Gloria. Seems we hear about this way too often, kids being left in hot cars. It happened again, this time in New Jersey. You might have heard the law. No, sorry. She could have lied. Thankfully, the little girl is okay, but her mother, who you heard apologizing in that video, is charged with child endangerment. A good Samaritan called police after seeing the child sweating and crying in the minivan. An officer smashed the window and pulled her out. Well, the mother had been shopping with another child inside the store. And, you know, even with all the rain we've had, it is still hot and steamy out there. Way too hot to leave kids or pets. Pinellas Animal Services has three dogs impounded after finding them in cars. Two of the dogs from one vehicle. The third left in a car along with three ferrets. And last week there was also a cat left in a hot car too. But those are just the cases they know about. There's no requirement to report it, and once the animal has passed away or is in severe um, distress health-wise, there's really not anything we can do other than rush it to a veterinarian as well. And the SPCA of Tampa Bay hosted a news conference today reminding everybody to think about that, not leave your kids or pets in hot cars. Well, Pasco County isn't wasting any time. It's mindful of all this rainwater. The emergency declaration now in effect and what that means for residents.